We, by the way, we brought an awful lot of people. Well, uh, the whole idea of computer chips reached that 40 percent of the market. We invented those chips, and we lost it because he was sending people to, cheap, to find the cheapest jobs overseas and to bring home a product. So I went, I went to South Korea. I convinced Samsung to invest billions of dollars here in the United States. And they're, guess what? Those fabs, they call them, to, 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 to build these chips, those fabs <laughs> pay over $100,000. You don't need a college degree for them. And there's billions, about $40 billion already being invested and being built right now in the United States, creating significant jobs for Americans all over the, from all over the world. President Biden, you have... 40 seconds left. Would you like to add anything? Yeah, I would. The, the Keep idea looking left, that somehow not at the moderator. We are uh, this failing country. I never heard a president talk like this before. We, uh, we're the envy of the world. The Name me a single major country president who wouldn't trade places with the United States of America for all our problems and all our opportunities. We're the most progressive country in the world in getting things done. We're the strongest country in the world. We're a country in the world who keeps our word and everybody trusts us all of our allies and our and our op, and our uh, those who he cuddles up to from Kim Jong Un he sends love Keep letters to the Putin, et cetera, they don't want to screw around with us. Thank you. Uh, former what President Trump to that? follow up you would be eighty two at the it end of your second term. What do you say to voters who have concerns about your capabilities to